Hi, I'm Jenny, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add elbow patches to your favourite garments. Now, I've got one of my husband's favourite jumpers here. It's a cashmere jumper, so this is proper special. Um, and he's put a hole in his elbow. So I'm going to use these elbow patches, which you can get from supermarkets or on the internet, where they are actually secured with a bit of sticky on the back. Or, if you're feeling a little bit more creative, you can use an old pair of denim jeans, for instance. Cut those up into any shape you want to make patches. Or do some doily action and um, so i'm going to show you how to do this so i'm going to open this up you can see that we've got our hole in our elbow area here okay so what you want to do is make sure that your elbow patches are on equal sides you don't want one elbow a bit longer than the other one so you're going to need to take a pin or you can just use a needle if you have one at home and what i've done is placed my arms on top of each other where the elbows are meeting so you can see our hole here I'm just going to fold this back slightly and pop a pin where it is so I can see that this is directly at the same place as the hole that we're going to be covering up with that patch. Now I've done that, I'm ready to get going. So first of all, you need to take one of your patches and I would suggest also getting a piece of paper because you don't want the sticky side of the patch sticking to the other side of the arm because don't forget we've got a hole in this jumper. So I'm just going to place this piece of paper into the hole of the sleeve covering up our hole like so okay now I'm not going to bother using the tea towel on this because obviously we've got the other side of the sleeve so that's going to protect your table but feel free to put one underneath if you if you want to do so you're going to need a medium iron and again no steam on this whatsoever so you're going to place the middle of your patch over the hole so I'm just going to fold my patch in half get a rough gauge of where that hole is like so. So there's my patch. Taking my iron, I'm going to place it over the patch. And again, don't move your iron. You need to keep this very still. And again, for around 30 seconds, but read the instructions. It will tell you exactly what you need to do here. So let's just see if that's stuck. Perfect. So now this is happy to go. You don't need to do anything more than this, but if again, if you want to keep this a little bit more secure, I do suggest using a needle and thread. So I'm going to take one out of my little sewing kit. I'm going to secure it with some stitches. So I've knotted the end of my thread. I'm going to go into the sleeve with your needle and thread. It's a bit tricky when you first start, but once you get it through your pattern, it'll be okay. So I'm popping it through the edge of my pad, pulling through. Now all we're going to do is a running stitch. Now I like to do it this way um, because you can see how even your stitches are going to be doing. So I'm going to be bringing that through to make my first stitch and I'm just going to repeat all the way around. So I like this because you get to see your stitches as you're going, making sure that they're nice and even. Now all you're doing here is just securing the pad. Remember this is an iron-on pad so it's not going to go anywhere anyway. This is just adding that little bit of security. So just take your time, being careful not to stitch the other side of your sleeve. And I think the trick here is just to try and keep it as consistent as possible, from one from the edge and then also two with the actual stitch length. Okay, so I'm coming up to the end of my elbow patch now. I'm just going to do one last stitch. So I'm going to take my needle back into the sleeve, poking out through the other side. Now you want to be careful that you don't pull these stitches too tight, you don't want any gathering in this area. So I'm just going to fold that over. Taking my needle and thread, I'm just going to go through the wool itself, not the patch, wrap around my needle twice, and then pull the thread. That's going to give you a nice securing knot. You want to repeat that maybe twice. Make sure that it really doesn't come off. And then clip. And we're done. So all you need to do now is repeat the process on the other elbow and you've done your elbow patches.